Residents of Kaduna have described the recent change in battle in Nigerians' armed forces as a panacea for effective tackling of the lingering Boko Haram menace. Many say the president's move to appoint new service chief is long overdue, considering the outgoing service chief's inability to tackle the security challenge despite receiving trillions of naira to do so. It's a welcome development. It was long overdue. Many people actually thought that um, as the usual tradition, people thought that they were even, General Buhari was going to appoint his service chiefs maybe on the 29th of May. But actually he took his time and studied the terrain. It's a very good uh, step in the right direction. A lot of people have been complaining the president has been very slow in uh, appointing his uh, new service chiefs. I think what he has done is the best because he has to take his time to know the, the right caliber of people to put in those positions. It's a good thing because uh, the new people come in, uh, they also understand the challenge that the previous people have been facing. And uh, like one of them that I know very well and I've actually worked under him, that is uh, the chief of army staff, Buratai. I did my youth service in his office. So I know him to be a very good uh, army. And uh, I'm sure with him, they will go far in combating the insurgency in Nigeria. It's a nice one. Since uh, our president says the appointment you know, was based on merit, we are very grateful for what he's doing. I plan that. The days of the Boko Haram are numbered. Others say they are optimistic that the newly appointed service chiefs will bring about the desired change result. Of what we call uh, is it a, a continuity? We have continuity in whatever things we are doing, and in the military we don't have a vacuum. These are senior officers who have been tested, and uh, I, they are also appointed by merit. It's not only Boko Haram that will end this uh, oil theft will also end because it was given to contractors who themselves were just like uh, economic saboteurs. Instead of doing the right thing, they are making money without tears. This time around, they will either embrace the uh, uh, amnesty thing to go and learn how to, f to live a proper life or the right people will just get the bullets. They would force, after all, those who kill deserve to be killed. And Boko Haram have nothing to do with religion. Nigerians are full of high hopes. The new service chiefs will hit the ground running, especially the renewed attack by the insurgents group, calling on them to discharge their duties with utmost respect to the existing rules of engagement. So we're losing lives on daily basis, and especially in the northeast there is... It's not really funny, so the expectation is very, very high. We expect them to bring to the end this uh, insurgency in Nigeria. Yeah. I expect, I expect them to to assume, or rather, to, resu to, to assume a very, to, to assume their responsibility very well, with utmost uh, seriousness. Because what we, what the main problem that is that is facing this country today is security challenge, and I expect them to. To, 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 to live up to that uh, responsibility. In a very different terrain, an environment where there is not going to be politicization of the military, there is not going to be polarization, there is not going to be fragmentation. They know that the onus is on their shoulders to make sure they take this country, especially the issue of the insurgency in the northeast, they tackle it head on. And I'm sure with the cooperation they will get from the federal government and the new resolve of the military, we are, inshallah, going to nip in the bud this uh, issue of um, insurgency and terrorism. The respondents say Nigerians must assist the newly appointed service chiefs with prayers and all means necessary to realize their objectives. Elizabeth Oshinowo, Liberty News.